Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about an important chapter for IIT Jam, Chemical Kinetics. Actually, I have solved all the last 5 years question papers of IIT Jam exam and I will provide you all those in my blog. So check over there and you will get the link of my blog in the description of my video. And here in this video, I am going to talk about the important topics and the important problems that you are going to face in IIT Jam exams. Right. So let's start. So here in this video, I am going to talk about the important topics and important problems you are going to face in IIT Jam exams. Right. So the first important topic is the rate law, zeroth order rate law, first order rate law and second order rate law. These rate laws are very important for IIT Jam exams because in every year you may face at least one or two questions from these rate laws equation. Right. So just for zeroth order reaction, zeroth order reaction, the rate law you have to remember that x equals to k0 t x means the concentration of product after time t k0 is the rate constant for zero order reaction and t is the necessary time and also along with this rate equation you have to remember the half lifetime equation that is t half for zero order reaction is a by 2k0 here a equals to concentration of reactant initially or initial concentration of reactant and K0 is the rate constant of zero order reaction. So coming to next first order reaction, the rate equation will be T equals to 1 by K1 ln A by A minus X. You have to remember this equation. A is the initial concentration of the reaction. X is the concentration of product after time T. That is T. And K1 is the rate constant for the first order reaction. Right. So this reaction along with the T half equation that is T half equals to 0 0.6932 by K1. Right, these two equations you need to remember from first order uh, rate equation. Coming to second order rate equation, second order rate equation may be two types A plus A that will give product or A plus B that will give product. Right, so if A plus A that is two reactants are same, then it will be second order reaction or two reactants may be different that is A plus B. In case two, reaction, uh, two reactants are similar or same, the rate equation will be 1 by a t minus 1 by a 0 equals to k t. You know k t means k 2 t actually here. That is rate constant for second reaction t is the time required. And the a t is the concentration of reactant at time t or after t time. And a 0 is the initial concentration of the reactant. This is the reactant. So here also if we consider a plus b that that will give product that is two reactants are different and say initial concentration of a is small a and initial concentration of b is small b and the final rate law equation will be 1 by a minus b ln b into a minus x by a into b minus x is equal to k to t right so here x is concentration of product at time t and you know a and v are initial concentrations of reactant a and v right so this is the rate law rate equation for secondary reaction and along with this you just need to remember the half t half t half equals to for secondary reaction is 1 by k2 into a a is the initial concentration of the reactant okay so here just uh, you need to remember the two reactants are same for uh, secondary reaction and considering this you have to uh, calculate t half of this reaction okay and along with this you just need to remember the graph of all uh, first order second order and zero order reaction okay let me say uh, rate constant of first order reaction versus time initial concentration of first order reaction versus time or in concentration at time t versus rate constant different kind of graph you have to remember so if you don't know about the, about those graph and this is also true for second or zero order reaction okay so just you have to remember if you don't know about those graph so let me know in the comment box and i will definitely make a video on this right so next coming to another problem and i here i want to say one thing that i have already suggested a book for this type of questions uh that is uh Problem is on physical chemistry by Amla Hindu Ghoshal. Okay, so you may check the book over my blog and also in the description maybe. Right, so just check over there. So the next question, next important question coming as say, the question will be like this. Two reactant 
a plus b which gives a product c or any product product need not necessary here so here it is given that initial concentration of a suppose we have done experiment one and that gives initial concentration of a is x1 initial concentration of b is x2 and it is given the rate of the equation rate that is r1 right and we have done experiment 2 that gives x2 sorry y1 this is y2 this is r2 similarly if we do experiment 3 that gives this is z1 z2 and this is r3 okay so these value x y z every x y and r value will be given to you okay so you just need to calculate the rate uh, calculate the order of the reaction and also the calc also need to calculate the rate constant so order and rate constant from this type of questions right so how can you solve those questions so you just need to consider that this equation rate equals to that is considering uh, as r equals to rate constant any um, it may be first or second order reaction or anything into concentration of a that is reactant a and b to the power alpha and concentration of b to the power beta suppose beta so alpha is order uh, with respect to a and beta is order with respect to b so you just need to calculate alpha and beta so by summation of alpha and beta you will get the total order of the reaction and you uh, they will they may ask some questions like order with respect to a or order, order with respect to b okay so just you need to calculate alpha and beta and how can you calculate this first make three different kind of rate equation so this is the common equation so from here r1 if we put experiment 1 r1 will be this is constant k concentration of a is x1 to the power alpha x2 to the power beta similarly right okay now this first equation second equation and third equation right so just divide 1 by 2 and you will get one value of alpha or beta you will definitely get one value alpha or beta then do 1 divided by 3 or 2 divided by 3 and from this uh, any of this you will get another value that is beta or alpha anything okay so by solving these three equation you will get alpha and beta right so this type of questions uh, and in 2000 jam 2014 this type of questions uh, are present and you may check the question in the solution paper right you will get fully explained answer over there so check the blog so now coming to an important topic that is initial concentration dependency with t hub it's a, it's one of the favorite questions of any professors like they may ask which t hub doesn't depend on the initial concentration so you just need to remember three equation that is t hub for zero order reaction t hub for fast order reaction and t hub for second order reaction that is zero order reaction that is a by 2k0 so first order reaction 0 0.6932 by k1 and final is 1 by a k2 so you can see only first order reaction only for first order reaction the t hub is not dependent on initial concentration that because it, there is no term a in this uh, equation right so for zero and second order reaction uh, you can see both the t hub depends on the uh, initial concentration so from here uh, they may ask uh, questions like t hub doesn't depend on the initial concentration what will be the order of the reaction and you uh, there will be four options so you may you can solve easily right and also from here uh, you can face questions something like that t hub proportional to initial concentration or t hub proportional to one by initial concentration that is initial concentration inverse and something like this for different kind of reactions right so you just need to remember the these three equations also and also some uh, problemistic questions in which they may not say the order of the reaction but they will tell you apply doesn't depend on the initial concentration and from this uh, you have to consider the, this as first order reaction okay so this type of tricks you may apply it over there next another important topic coming as Arrhenius equation every year here there is at least one questions coming from Arrhenius equation so 
you may expect one question from this equation. So basic RNA's equation that is k equals to a e to the power minus e a by rt. I uh, don't need to explain all the terms. You know already. So maybe from this equation you uh, will not face any question. But another equation also derived from here that is ln k2 by k1 equals to a by r 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 so you just need to remember this equation so this equation is very important that is temperature dependency of rate constant you will uh, you will be given two rate constant and one temperature or you will be given two temperature and one rate constant and to calculate another uh, rate constant or another temperature okay so just remember this type of questions is very important and this formula is very 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 important and from here from RNA's equation another questions may, may come that is you have to draw the graph from RNA's equation and how to draw just take a log that is log k equals to log a and from here you will get uh, minus log e to the power minus a by rt okay so from here they may they may ask to draw the uh, graph between log k versus temperature or ln k versus temperature if you take ln th then it will be good because uh, e and ln uh, these two will be omitted so that will be better far better for you and that's why take ln instead of log right or from here they may ask the slope intercept right so just be aware of them these are not that much tough right you may also check those this type of questions uh, in that book right so you should have that book anyway coming to next topic that is uh, two theory these two theory are in the syllabus that is transition state theory and collision theory uh, this uh, from these two theory i did not see any questions uh, in the last five years but no need to take any time any kind of risk uh, so just two things i have uh, i will suggest to you that assumption of the, these two theory and the final equation that will be coming out right so just check these two things from these two theory but next important topic coming uh, chain reactions and its step you just need to remember the steps of chain reaction the steps are one initiation two propagation three chain transfer four retardation five termination so you just need to remember all these five uh, steps uh, in the consecutive manner right so here it is all about so the next thing is not that much important but uh, you should read or you should also read as in it is in the syllabus so the basic enzyme kinetics that is uh, for, uh, you just need to remember from here that forward reaction and backward reaction if uh, any enzyme, uh, enzyme acts then the rate of the forward reaction and the backward reaction uh, increases or decreases simultaneously right so both the rate are same so next coming to one very very important topic is that is Michaelis maintain uh, kinetics It's very very important. So, so do the total derivation of this uh, Michaelis Michaelis maintain uh, equation, right? And also there is a constant named Michaelis maintain constant, and you should know the constant about it. So another important from this also, this is uh, the topic is related to Michaelis maintain kinetics. There is turn over number. This from turn over number you may face one mathematical problem, uh, nothing others, just mathematical problem or uh, anything like relation the proportional or inversely proportional relation with rate, rate constant right so i will recommend you to solve basic mathematical problem from this chapter also as it is a physical chemistry chapter as i have said before from physical chemistry you will face most of the mathematical problem not the uh, theoretical question so just solve mathematical problem in great number so that you won't miss any uh, questions from IIT jam so it's very easy chapter and it's one of my favorite so hope this video helps you a lot in understanding the idea of uh, what type of questions you may face in jam exam so if you have any queries to understand or any queries if you have if you have doubt 
in this chapter or what i have told you so just uh, leave a comment below and i will definitely make a video on this so thank you guys thanks for watching